Alright folks, so in today's video we're going to talk a little bit about Nagoya antennas. We're going to talk about real ones and we're going to talk about fake ones. Everybody wants to add these Nagoya antennas to the radios and you can see that I've done that here. This happens to be a fake one um, that's on that on that Baofeng UV5R and then uh, here's one that I use on my FT70 that I believe is legit or a, a real one. Uh, during the course of the video, we're going to look at a bunch of different antennas, uh, these Nagoya type antennas. And then uh, we're going to throw them on a meter and do some SWR tests and find out is having a fake a problem or not. Anyhow, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up, uh, share somewhere, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks. All right, folks, so here we are at the tabletop or the desktop. I don't know what you want to call it. And uh, we're going to take a look at a couple of different things. As I mentioned, we're going to talk about Nagoya antennas and fake Nagoya antennas. One of the uh, opinions that I heard was is that, well, Nagoyas are knockoffs of Comet antennas, so they're all fake. And that may be true or not. Uh, as I mentioned, we are going to hook some of these antennas up to this SWR meter and get some readings. And then uh, we're going to plot those readings out on this chart. We're going to take a little bit of a look at it. But first, I wanted to take a look at uh, some packaging. Now this is a, what I understand, a legit Nagoya antenna. And uh, it comes in a green bag. And it's also branded Bofang Tech or B-Tech. I started buying all of my uh, Nagoya style antennas from B-Tech because they have a very good reputation uh, in the ham radio world. And uh, this is not the 701 or the 771. This is actually a tri-band antenna that I bought for some other testing. But uh, some things you want to pay attention to is you want to take a look at that font. Other people say that you really want to take a look at that rolled edge on the bag and how it's put together and then just the overall quality of the uh, of the bag and how it has these rounded corners. Now I'm going to take a look at some bags that some of my other antennas came in and this is uh, one that I bought years ago. Um, it has the rolled edges but the quality of the bag doesn't feel the same and it's orange. That should be an immediate uh, heads up. Also, there's no hologram or, or uh, scan code on here. Oh, there's a scan code. But uh, this looks like a cheap bag, and this was a knockoff Nagoya antenna. Does that mean the antenna is bad? We'll find out. Uh, here is a 701 antenna bag uh, from what I believe to be a legit antenna, and you can see the quality of the bag here. Taking a look, you can see the B-Tech branding. Now this had a um, sticker over top of that that I had to peel off to see if that was there. Also people say that Nagoya antennas will come with this ring adapter, but uh, I've seen it in other bags as well. Here's uh, something I wanted to point out. This is two 771 bags. And you can see they actually have different font on each bag. And then just taking a look at them. Uh, the bags are, are similar and they have these holograms at the time everybody was saying oh you want to make sure you get the hologram on the bag I don't think it means anything but uh, also this one does not have this Q code scanner scan but you can put a legit scan on a fake bag which is the case with this one let's just keep going here I can't believe I got all these bags laying around uh, here's another one like the first one we saw it's uh it's a, it, it's a fake. And now here's one <clears throat> that I believe is real that I did not get from Baofeng Tech. You can see the quality of the bag. You can see the font is consistent. Uh, there's your grommet. But there is no uh, B-Tech embossing or logo on this bag. Anyhow, just thought I'd share that. If you have any questions or comments or opinions on the bags and ways to identify them as being fake, please go ahead and post them below. Let's just take a quick look at some of these antennas. So these are two 771s. And much like the bag, you can see that there's different fonts on there. So I'd say at a minimum, one of those is fake. <laughs> I'm going to say both of them are. And you can see the difference. Here is the legitimate Nagoya antenna with the silver uh, lettering that is not a sticker. So in this case, these are stickers that are actually applied to the antenna. And then you can also see the shape of this uh, base of the antenna is much different. Again, does that mean that these antennas don't work? I can tell you they work because I use them all the time. 
Now, do they work well or not is a, a, something that we're going to attempt to find out. And then uh, I'll just do a quick comparison of these Nagoya 701s. And you can see even the tips are a little bit different there. All right, let's take some time to hook these up to the meter, and then uh, we'll get started on some SWR testing. Okay, so here we have the fake or the counterfeit Nagoya 701 connected to a uh, Yaesu FT70D. We're on a two meter band. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna key up and we're gonna see what our SWR reading is. Okay, we're back and we've had a little bit of a change of plans. We're just gonna use the Baofeng radio to test all the way through because I didn't like the way that that connector was sitting on the Yaesu. It doesn't matter because we're still testing the antennas independent of the radio. That said, let's go ahead and get started. We have the fake Nagoya 701 connected. The uh, first test that we're going to do is on 146520. We're going to go ahead and we're going to key up. And it barely moved. So we're going to say that is a 1.2 to 1. The, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to test this fake on the 440 band. So let me switch down to 446000. And then when I key up, I see about a 1.5 to 1, which really isn't that bad. Let's go ahead and put the real one on. Okay, we're back on the two meter band. Hardly moves at all. We're going to call that one to one. Jump down to 440. Looks like about 1.4. Okay, now what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to hook up and we're going to test these two different fake Nagoya 771s and see how they perform. We're going to call this one number one. Okay, we're going to start on two meters. barely moved. We'll call that 1.2 to 1. Jump down to 440. Jump down to 440 and that looks like about 1.5 to 1. Let's go ahead and switch it out to number 2. This is going to be number two. Okay, we're going to start at two meters. Barely moves. We're going to call that uh, 1.2 to 1. Jump down to 440. Looks like about 1.3 to 1. You know, just because it's going to be easy, we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw this legit Nagoya into the mix. It's a 771. We're going to start at 2 meters. Barely moves, we're going to call that 1.2 to 1. It's probably a little bit lower than that. Drop down to 440. And that's actually a little high, that looks like 1.5 to 1. So, what we've seen is, is that the performance is actually pretty similar between legitimate and fake Nagoyas. Unless, of course, these are all legitimate, or maybe they're all fake, who knows. The performance that we saw here today doesn't really seem that bad. It uh, doesn't seem alarming or frightening or anything like that. So 
that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.